Hi Capricorn, welcome to your February general forecast. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So I hope everybody's doing well. Welcome in Capricorn. Hope you had a wonderful holiday season. Happy New Year. So we're going to take what energies come out. Whatever comes out, it could be love, it could be general, it could be work, career, finance, it could be anything. So whatever the messages are, we're going to take them as they come. And I did just do your reading and I thought my camera was recording and it wasn't. So that message was that you were connecting heavily with uh, source, divine energy, and they were conspiring with you, moving you forward in a new direction and being on the path of being very spiritually awakened and working with that energy, moving you forward. So whether or not we get the same message, I don't know. So we're just going to take whatever comes out here. So uh, I was going to leave the cards all on the table and do it over, but I don't feel comfortable doing that. I like to pull the cards as I'm doing the reading so you can see the energy as it comes out. So I'm doing a whole new reading for you and we'll see what we get here. So Capricorn, I hope everybody's doing well. So please only take what resonates if it's not your story if you feel like if you feel like it doesn't fit for you then it's probably not for you so keep uh, um just you know hold on for the next reading and maybe that will resonate for you so like i said please please only take what resonates and throw away the rest so let's see what's going on for capricorn now this is a zodiac oracle we get a sign element or planet this could be somebody around you affecting you in some way or you could have the sign in your chart if you don't resonate with whatever comes out here, totally fine. Let's see uh, what we have for Capricorn at this time. I do say at this time, I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go back and watch past readings, please feel free. Your links to your playlist are down below in the description box. Love General is down there, as well as Dex I'm Using, social media, how to reach out for personal reading. Um, if you'd like to tip or donate or send a gift, all that information is below in the description box. And I'll also pin some of that information to the top comment down below in the comment section also. So let's see what we have here. So we have Mars energy. So this is Aries. This is the sign of Aries, Mars. And Mars is a very driven planet. It's all about goals, ambition, drive, um, and that kind of energy. It's about competitiveness, assertion, aggression, courage, confidence. So that's about moving forward in that energy, like that uh, go-getter taking control and just going for it kind of energy. So, hmm, are we going for something here, uh, Capricorn? Hmm, let's see. So with this deck here, I will get an opening message for you, and then we'll pull one for your current energy, and then we'll clarify all that with the tarot, and we'll look at your actual situation, your current energy, um, advice for your situation, and possible outcome of your situation. And then we'll get some closing messages for you uh, with that deck there, that other um, deck. So let's see. Let's see what's going on with Capricorn at this time. Patience. So we have temperance energy here, which is all about balance, tempering your energy, having patience energy here. As you see, so she's got something in her hand that's like gr growing and flourishing and like in transition also. So you may be transitioning right now from one thing to another thing that may be growing and blossoming for you, but it's also needing to nurture, care, and uh, really take care of that energy, but also to have patience with it and to be balanced and tempered moving forward. So, so needing patience here for something. Okay, so let's see what... what I feel like very driven energy, a go-getter energy, like, you know, just wanting to move forward rapidly, but also it's telling you to balance your energy and to have patience also moving forward. Transformation, yeah. So this is death energy. So we have two majors, 13 and 14. Wow. So this is death. So this doesn't mean something's, you know, someone's dying, but something could be coming to an end for you. And again, this is about transformation, transition. So, and I had said that with the patients here, because you see her, half her face is one color and the other half another color. So you're like, kind of like in between two worlds, like transitioning from one thing to another. So that's that transformation and transition. So something's ending, 
uh, for you. But then there's a new beginning on the horizon that you're also transitioning into. So you're really needing to have patience here as much as you want to like really drive it forward. Really needing to uh, temper your energy here. And take time to nurture and care for yourself also through this process. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Material harvest. So we have the nine of pentacle energy. So this is being secure, abundant, stable, and dependent. Take care of yourself. Uh, you have everything you need. Everything you need. Uh, you have security. You have abundance. You have prosperity. You can make your coin. You know you don't really have to worry. You know you're just doing doing very good. So you be, be could be coming independent. Maybe some of you are. You know if that Aries can be an entrepreneur. Uh, having your own business or something like that. Maybe you're transitioning from your everyday nine to five job into owning your own business or something like that. And I see it would be very prosperous for you with the nine of coin energy for some of you. If that, you know, if that resonates for some of you, or it could just be a new job, a new career, um, or transitioning to um, a promotion, maybe, you know, going from just, you know, an everyday uh associate to being a boss manager supervisor something like that okay so let's clarify this energy and i just want to give a quick shout out to all who have subscribed thank you thank you tipped donated reached out for personal reading however you support me in the channel it's truly truly appreciated could not do it without you guys Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so let's get some energy around this. See what you are transforming through, what you're uh, transcending through, what you're um, transitioning through. What's going on here? So we have the Queen of Wands, King or Queen, doesn't matter. And also, I forgot to mention this reading is for um, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Jupiter. If it had been, you know, if love came up, I would say um, Venus. But it seems to be more, you know, if it does come, love does come up, you know, it can be for your Venus also. But definitely Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, and our Venus, if you feel comfortable with that. Six of Wands, so there's your success and victory, getting the accolades, the attention, being victorious. And there's the queen, King or Queen of Wands, which is that fire energy of the Mars energy. And you see almost like the same energy with the wand in hand, going for it here. So, yeah, you're transforming, transcending into success and victory here for something here. It could have been an offer that came into you. Again, it could have been um, a promotion, a new job, a pay raise. I mean, something here. Um, so, yeah, you're going for it. And that Queen of Wands, King Queen Wand energy, being that, you know, entrepreneur, go getter, fiery, passionate kind of energy is with that Mars energy, which is Aries, which is a fire sign. And the Queen of Wands can be Leo, Sag, or Aries as with the six of wands over here so all right and patience is Sagittarius so we get a lot of fire and you could have a lot of fire in your chart uh, also so let's get more energy around this so now we have the knight of wands wow a lot of fire here definitely somebody here has a lot of fire in their chart and now we have the page of cups so we got the Knight of Wands, the Page of Cups, the Six of Cups. Wow. This could be something that you've wanted to do since childhood. Maybe it was like a childhood dream. And the six, the Page of Cups is a very youthful, young energy. So maybe you're re reminiscing on the past, like, oh, my childhood dreams are were always to do this, to be this, to, you know, whatever here. And now it's like you take, you can take action on that. It's like now you're finally able to transition into your childhood dream. For some of you, with the Page of Cups there, it's like looking back on your childhood, thinking back of what you've always wanted to do. Six of Pentacles energy here, so balance. Very balanced energy here. Uh, reciprocity. Two sixes. Three sixes, six, six, six. Wow. So you may want to look up that angel number or six may mean something to some, but uh, six is a very healing, balancing number. So a lot of good energy here. So I feel like whatever you're taking action on, because this Knight of Wands takes action. 
something from your past, something that you've longed to do since childhood. Now the right time has come and now you're transitioning into that process to success, victory, accomplishment, feeling balanced. Wow. Okay. You know, that cup energy, feeling, you know, love, peace, compassion, harmony kind of energy. So let's look at your actual situation now. So, and now another six, six of swords, four sixes, the ace of pentacles. Some of you are starting a new business or starting something new here, a new job, new business promotion. Uh, I don't know, something here, but you'll be, you're going into a much better place. Four sixes. So six definitely means something for you. But whatever opportunity that's divinely guided for you that will bring in this material harvest, and you're accepting that offer, you're looking at it like, should I accept it? Mm, I don't know, but I think you will. It's either an offer coming into you or you're now accepting now is the right time to step in my divine purpose, what I've always wanted to do. And some, some kind of energy is being divinely guided, led to you. That's now giving you the opportunity to move forward in what you've always wanted to do. So now you're taking this opportunity and you're sailing off to a better place, a more peaceful, harmonious, balanced place, whatever place you were in, maybe it wasn't such a good energy also. So you're just letting it end and grabbing this golden opportunity moving forward. Wow. Okay. So let's see. Let's see what else for you here. Get bound. <laughs> temperance again, which is right here. Two cards of temperance. So yeah, feeling divinely guided and led. The temperance angel here always brings in something meant for you. And also brings you peace, harmony, and balance and patience. So you've been patient. You've, you know, you've waited. And maybe you couldn't do what you've always wanted to do because of whatever reasons, life, just life in general, whatever here. But now you're at, at a point where it's just the right time. It's the right time. What else here? Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, so definitely about career here. You're working, you're manifesting, you're moving forward um, kind of energy, which is causing a time here for celebration, rejoicing, coming together with people, having a good time, celebrating. Celebrating all your hard work, having the patience, determination, Finally, having this temperance angel bringing in this divinely guided new beginning for you. That you're able to go off to a better place. Wow, a lot of good energy here. So whatever you've been patient about moving forward, whatever you're transcending, transitioning, transforming through. Here is not to give up, keep fighting, keep going on in that uh, king or queen of wands energy of fiery, passionate go-getter energy. Five of Wands energy. Now, so this is your advice now for your situation. So if there's conflict around you, inner conflict, mental conflict, um, energy. Let's see what else. Ten of Swords. Yeah, so ending here at, with death there, ending things no longer serving you. Maybe a little hurtful, painful, you know. It could be, you know, maybe people that you've been around have been like family. And that's why you have the Six of Cups there also. But, you know, you may be very conflicted about it also. But here's the taking action card, Eight of Wands, that fiery action movement forward, communication, fast travel and action. Okay, what else here? Seven of Wands. So keep fighting for it, not to give up. So seven and eight of Wands. So I feel like as Spirit wants you to know, as conflicted as you feel about this or whatever conflict is around you, something needs to come to an end to let it end as painful, hurtful as it may be or sad as it may be or as conflicted as you may be about the ending that to keep moving forward, taking the action needed, that fiery, passionate travel, action, whatever here, movement forward and not to give up. Seven of Wands is that you don't give up, you keep fighting, keep moving on. It can be about being defensive on guard, but I'm not really getting that energy. That energy is just keep fighting, keep fighting, moving on. Fighting and moving on, don't give up. Don't give up. Having patience with yourself as you're transitioning. 
All right, so what else? Let's get a uh, possible outcome for now, uh, for you now. Capricorn, Capricorn. All right, what do we have here now? We have the Queen of Cups and we have the Seven of Swords. So the Seven of Swords is like getting away, getting out, getting away. I just got to get away from this. Queen of Cups is, you know, having self-love and worth and value being in a loving, caring, compassionate energy. You know, as much as you got to get away from whatever energy is no longer serving you, you're letting end. You know, you still have love, care, compassion, energy from that situation, from the people around you that you that you knew, but you know you got to get, you know, you know you have to get away from it. You, you just know the Seven of Swords is like just well, almost like running away, <laughs> getting out, you know. All right, so let's get one more. Yeah, stress, worry, fear, anxiety, moving forward about things. But knowing you do need to get out of there. You know, and the Queen of Cups, you know, just knowing, you know, it's for your own betterment, your own self-value, worth, self-love, taking care of yourself, compassion towards yourself. And also feeling that love and compassion to those that maybe you have been, you know, around these people for maybe up to, you know, 13, 15 years and you're like, they're like family. So having that loving, care, and compassionate energy towards those people. But you're getting out of it, you know, even though there's some stress and worry. Oh, somebody's shoveling. It snowed here last night. I was wondering if somebody was going to shovel. Okay, so now we have the Empress energy. So this is an Empress. Uh, Emperor, Empress, doesn't matter. So this is self-worth, value, uh, knowing your value and worth, the birth of new things, being that entrepreneur, that go-getter. Owning your own business, uh, mother of the deck here. So yeah, being in your energy. Some of you could be a mother. Divinely guided energy for you with the star. Having that healing, patient, uh, faith, hope, optimism. Dr dreams coming true to your stability. So you'll be much more stable moving forward in your home life, life in general. Celebrations, ceremonies also with the three of cups rejoicing. Ta taking the leap of faith here. Oh, why is it blurry? Taking a leap of faith here with the full energy. Trusting everything will be fine. Trusting everything will be fine. Taking that leap of faith to stability in all areas of your life. Divinely guided energy, faith, hope, optimism, which is coming true. And some of you could actually be a boss, entrepreneur, uh, being in charge of your life now kind of energy. So besides Aries, Sagittarius, Scorpio... Leo Sag Aries, uh, Leo Sag Aries, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, um, Sagittarius, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, and then we have the Empress here, which is Libra and Taurus, Aquarius, Aquarius. So those are the other signs I see. So we're going to get some extra messages here with this deck to close it out you Capricorn okay whoever's out there shoveling if you hear that noise I just hope they don't think I'm talking to myself <laughs> okay so let's see what's going on here let's get some closing messages for you Capricorn I do ask Capricorn if you like my energy my style and how I read please do like share subscribe comment hit the bell you won't miss out on any reading so feel free to check out my channel if you like what you see please do subscribe It'd be greatly appreciated hit the bell you won't miss out and if you do thank you all right let's get some closing messages for capricorn on this capricorn closing messages for capricorn wow so we have a repeating card here the six of autumn kiwi your success and prosperity have allowed you to pay off debts acquire wise loans or receive a grant or scholarship in return for heaven's blessings be sure to share the wealth with others through donations of time or money or reputable charity. So this is the Six of Pentacles energy, which we had right here. So double confirmation of feeling very balanced. Very, very secure, stable, and balanced energy. Moving forward. What else? The star. <laughs> Another double card here of Aquarius, the star. Oriole, I think is how you say it. You are about to take a big leap forward with your life. Worry will be replaced with optimism, fear with hope, 
and Joy is coming home to roost. And we had the fair here with the Nine of Swords. But we did have the star right there. So double confirmation of the star. So faith, hope, optimism, wishes and dreams coming true. Divinely guided energy for you. Let's get a couple more. And now the Princess of Autumn. Cheerful, reliable, intelligent, mischievous, tabby cat, a wonderful opportunity related to your work or education, such as a promotion or a scholarship is coming your way. Seize this chance to learn something exciting or start a more rewarding and uplifting career. So yeah, I do, and this is uh, Virgo Charles Capricorn. So, and that's the page of Pentacles. So that can be, you know, a solid offer coming in, something stable and secure learning something new, going back to school, education. So let's see what's on the bottom. Seven of Autumn. Now we have the Seven of Pentacles. Cow, the planning, resources and efforts you've invested in your dream will reap great rewards. In the meantime, have patience and mediate on your next, or meditate on your next steps. Patience there, Sagittarius. And we had it, um, didn't we have it again? Yeah, right here. So heavy patience, this is Seven of Autumn. It's about patience, planning, investments, assessing, a period maybe of waiting um, as you, you know, go through this transition and transformation. So heavy energy there of patience and planning for your future moving forward. It's divinely guided energy for you. All right. Uh, Capricorn. Wow. So best of luck to you. Sending you uh, many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel... So always, always shine your light.